Hello everybody, this is Zaxter99. Just got this game brand new on Steam. This is Five Nights at Freddy's 4, as you can see up here. Now, I have never played this yet. Uh, just got it on Steam, just came out today. Now, if you remember, I played Five Nights at Freddy's 1 about Christmas time last year for the first time, and it scared the crap out of me. And I thought it was going to be cheesy as hell. Now, I was never able to complete Five Nights at Freddy's, even though I did about four different videos, I think, on it. I don't think I ever got past either night four or night three. I can't even remember. But I got stuck and couldn't get past it. Uh, I did quit getting so scared after that first video. I think I became kind of used to it. Uh, but the first time I played it, it scared me. Now, the reason I bought this one, I haven't played two or three of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. But the reason I bought this one is because it looks like it's 3D and you can actually move from looking at the video. So we're going to go ahead and see if this game has what it takes to scare me again. And we're going to see what I think of this game and where I rate it. All coming up right after this. Alright, welcome back everybody. This is Five Nights at Freddy's 4. We're going to go ahead and go to a new game here. It looks like we can't make this a full screen. There's no option. So uh, the Scott Calhoun guy or whatever his name is that makes this game, brilliant guy. He's made a ton of money. And uh, what would he do this time? What the heck? He locked you in your room again? Don't be scared. I'm here with you. W-A-S-D. Why am I crying? Oh, so I'm like a little kid this time. Okay. And this is my dolls. Oh, poor kid's crying. These are my friends. Okay. What are you doing over here, buddy? You're in my bed. Let me back in my bed. Ah! Okay. Quit crying, kid. Why am I crying? Now I just lay down on the ground and I'm continuing to cry. And somebody's beating on the door. Tomorrow's another day. Okay, then. That was weird. All right, there's the doll right there on my bed. Is that Freddy, I think? Or which one is that? That's Freddy? Okay. Got my son and his friend here helping me because I don't know who all these characters are, but... Uh, click here to run to the door. Okay. Oh, wow. See the carpet while we're, while we're running across. Close doors, hold shift. Use flashlight, hold control. Press X to high tips. Well, I don't need to do that. Here's my time up here, 12 a.m. Warning, listen carefully. If you hear breathing, hold the door shut. If you do not hear breathing, then use your flashlight. Flick the mouse to run back. Okay. Click here to run to the door. Okay, so hold the door shut if I hear breathing. Otherwise, click the flashlight is what it said. I don't hear breathing. Okay, so now run back. Okay, so instead of using monitors this time and being able to stuck in one position, you can actually move. And I'm stuck in my room instead of the pizza parlor. Okay, let's go over here. I don't think I hear anything. Okay, good. So now run back. You gotta listen, I guess. Do I hear anything? Okay. Run back. Can I look behind me? Oh, I can look behind me. Uh, do I hear breathing? No. Okay, good. This is interesting. So basically, I got four different things I got to look at. These sets of doors, three sets of doors, including the closet and the bed behind me. And if I hear breathing, I got to shut the door. Okay. It's 1 a.m. now. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go to, I don't know. Come on, mouse. Go to this one. I don't hear no breathing. 
check behind me. Nothing. 2 a.m. now. Flick down. Go over here. Uh, is that breathing? I don't know if that was breathing or not, but... Okay, just keep holding shift or what? Alright, let it go. Ah! <laughs> I scared my son behind me. Alright, that got me. <laughs> Alright, new game. Here we go. That one got me. That was good. That was good. So Five Nights at Freddy's continues to get me. And spook me. Can I continue? <laughs> Damn game. Alright. Here we go. This game is not going to scare me again. It is not going to scare me again. <laughs> that was good. You know, you go and you think these games are cheesy as hell until that thing pops out and scares the crap out of you. And it's effective again. So that happened when I shut the door and I held it open. I wonder if that happened because there wasn't actually breathing. I got washing machines going on in the background. I got all kinds of stuff going on in the background. I can't hear crap. And I shut the door probably when I shouldn't have. I should have turned the flashlight on and because I shut the door is probably why I got snagged. In fact, let's go ahead and test it. Let's go ahead and test that. And let's go over here again. Don't hear any breathing. I'm going to go ahead and shut the door. Hold shift to shut the door. And I bet you when I let this door open, I bet you the guy gets me again because I shut the door when I shouldn't have. Let's test it out here. Turn the flashlight on. Nope. Huh. I don't know. Maybe it's a random chance. I don't know. Anyway, you know this game's going to scare me again. One thing, I'm talking rather than listening. All right. I wonder if you can ever see anything or if they come in the room and get you. They probably do, just like they came in that room to get you in Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Let's go over here. Okay. It's 1 a.m. Nothing. Okay. Let's go to the closet. I don't hear anything. Let's look behind me again. Nothing. Alright, I'm going to ask my son if he thinks this game is going to scare me again. Christian, is this game going to scare me again? He doesn't know. Nothing yet. Alright. Oh, I hear something. I hear something. Let's go over here. Nothing. What did I hear? It's kind of spooky, to be honest with you. Let's go over here. What the hell was that? I saw blurs again. I remember that blurry crap from the first one. The glitchy looking stuff. Uh, I, I accidentally shut the door when I shouldn't have, damn it. Okay, I locked out there. I didn't hear breathing and I accidentally shut the door. I think that's the problem, mistake I made the last time. There we see that glitch again, like something leaving. Uh, why, why do I not see my hints again? I must have X. My hints are gone. I thought it said X for hints, but X is not bringing back my hints. Hmm, 3 a.m. I don't know. Maybe it determines that you don't need hints after a while. You kind of know what you're doing. Okay, nothing there. Can I make it to 6 a.m.? Okay. I 
4 a.m. Nothing. Well, so far this is uh, kind of easy, except for when something pops out at you. Freaks you out. What the heck is that? Now that didn't scare me, but that was kind of kind of a little bit like weird. Like what the heck? Um, you don't have a power level this time, like you did in the first one. You just got to keep moving back and forth, I guess, and listening for breathing, I guess. Nothing yet. 4 a.m. Nothing yet. Okay. 5 a.m. Can I make it, people? Nothing yet. Nothing. That was weird. Okay. Just enough to get you kind of on nerve. Ah, uh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm not hearing a whole lot of breathing. I don't know if I like this as well as the first one. I kind of like the old cameras thing better, I think. Even though this kind of has better graphics and you can kind of move around. I don't know that I like this as well as the whole camera deal. I mean, it does feel like a Friday's, uh, a Friday's game. Five Nights at Friday's game. But... Alright, so I made it to 6 a.m. I made it my first night. All right, so at 6 a.m., you know you're going to have Five Nights uh, to get through, just like all these Five Nights games. I mean, that's why it's called Five Nights at Freddy's, right? Four days left until the party. So, what now? Okay. You don't know he is hiding again. I still got my kid here crying. Okay. Oh, now I can actually come in this room. He won't stop until you find him. Okay. What's up, buddy? Over there. Ah! <laughs> that was Foxy, wasn't it? Isn't that Foxy? The wolf? The red wolf? My poor kid's crying again. Fun with plush trap. Hold control to use the flashlight. Use flashlight to stop plush trap on the next X. What? I didn't even, I didn't even get a chance to read all that. What? Okay. Oh, wow. This is like a bonus level or something. I have to make 90 seconds. Okay, so I guess we'll hold the flashlight on him here. Um... Just watch him, make sure he doesn't come get me. I guess that's what we're doing. Maybe I should turn my flashlight off for a bit here. Um de dum 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 don't come get me. Now for all I know he's chewing my leg off because I can feel no pain, right? Rawr, stuffed animals chewing my leg off. Maybe I should turn my flashlight back on. You know he's gonna come out and get me though. Oh well. Let's turn the flashlight on. Uh, great. <laughs> well, I don't know. What, I guess we're moving on to night two. So here we go. I wonder how much harder this one's going to be. I know I'm not going to get all through all five nights here. Not in this video. We'll see what happens. Where'd my sound go? My sound is completely gone. Now, this has kind of ruined the experience. Yeah, I don't hear nothing anymore. What the heck? Ah. Uh, My volume gone. My volume is gone. What the heck? How come I have no volume? Stupid game.
Well, in night two, it looks like I have lost my volume here somehow. My volume is still up. My volume on my speakers is all the way up, and somehow I've lost my volume. I don't know if this is a glitch that they're going to have to fix, but obviously I can't hear breathing in the game without volume. And see, that wasn't near as scary there where he got me and I'm all bloody because there was no volume and no rawr from him. Um, it just wasn't the same. So I don't know what happened to the scheme and what happened to my volume. But like I say, my speaker is all the way up. You can see the volume here uh, is all the way up. I got beeps from the computer, but I have no volume in the game. So the game is glitching out, not providing volume, even though my computer is obviously has sound. So that is not good. Uh, I haven't played this game enough to score it. I think anybody, though, that likes these Five Nights at Freddy's game is probably going to like this. Uh, I still kind of feel like the old monitor uh, game, even though the graphics weren't quite as uh, pleasing, I kind of feel like Five Nights at Freddy's 1 was a little bit better. I kind of like the whole clicking on cameras and your power running out and that kind of thing over just monitoring the closet and two doors and a bed behind you. Uh, this game does look like it has a pretty fun little uh, uh, bonus round between nights, though, and that seems pretty cool in the whole kid thing. So I think this game is going to be... Uh, I think this game is going to be cool to anybody who likes the Five Nights at Freddy's game. Uh, you know, if anybody that's like Five Nights at Freddy's 1, 2, and 3 is probably going to really like this game as well because it still feels like a Five Nights at Freddy's game. Uh, it doesn't feel like something he just tacked on to try to make more money. It looks like he's trying to do something different, and I applaud him on that. What I don't like is the fact that the sound has disappeared uh, on Night 2, and uh, actually it, it, the sound disappeared during the bonus round uh, where I wasn't able to complete that, and that has completely ruined my experience. So, you know, I have to, I have to grade this first day uh, just like I do any other game. As much as I want to like it and as, no, as unpopular as the decision is going to be, I'm going to have to grade this based on value. Uh, my criteria values 40 uh, points. And out of 40 points at $7.99 U.S. dollars, I think the value is going to be there. I'm going to go ahead and give this guy the benefit of the doubt. I think he's going to have a patch that's going to fix the sound or something's going to happen that fixes the sound here. As you can see, I still got no sound. I probably have to reboot the game. Yeah, there's no sound. So I'm probably going to have to reboot the game, something I shouldn't have to do, and I'm sure he'll patch this up. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Uh, from what little I've played so far, I think the value is probably going to be here to give you your scares and to give you your nervous moments. I'm going to give the value a 30 out of 40 at seven dollars and 99 cents and then we got fun factor uh out of 30 points how much fun is the game to play i think this game the first time you play it is going to be a lot of fun uh especially the first few times when you try to beat it i think you're going to have a lot of fun i'm going to give the fun a 25 out of 30. so so far i've got 55 points for my first two criteria uh next one is controls and bugs controls are great controls work just fine wasd uh clicking the mouse holding down shift uh, to turn the flashlight on, hold I mean, holding control to turn the flashlight on, holding shift to hold the door closed. Works just great. The sound uh, is definitely a bug right now. Again, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and, thinks, and assume that he's going to fix that real soon. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give controls and bugs the benefit of the doubt, assuming the sound starts working here uh, for you guys. And I'm going to give controls and sound a 15 out of 20. Uh, and then the next one, last criteria, is graphics and sound the graphics are better than they were in the previous installments i know uh sound seems to work fine for what it is i'm going to go ahead and give the graphics and sound for five nights at freddy's four an eight out of ten you add all that up and you're going to wind up with a 78 uh, percent out of 100 uh granted if you like these five nights at freddy's games i think you're going to value it a little bit more than a 78 but 78, again, is giving him the benefit of the doubt and assuming he gets the sound fixing uh, fixed here soon so that the sound doesn't just quit working in the game like it has for me day number one uh, on Steam. So I think if you're a Five Nights at Freddy's fan, I think you're going to love this game. I think it's going to be worth your money. Uh, you know, otherwise, you're, gonna, you're getting what kind of what you see right here. It's definitely not a game for everybody, uh, and I can definitely see a lot of people thinking a 78 is way too high for a game like this as well. So... I'm kind of right in the middle. Uh, it definitely gave me a scare there, as you heard, saw on night one, uh, when I had the sound effects working. 
uh, and I closed the door by accident when I think I shouldn't have, and then I opened the door and turned the flashlight on, and he was right there and jumped out at me. Uh, definitely gave me that a good old scare that I got from Five Nights at Freddy's 1. So there you have it. 78 out of 100 is my score for Five Nights at Freddy's 4. I'll definitely be playing this again uh, here in the near future. So let me know down in the comments below if you want to see me play this game some more. Let me know what you think of Five Nights at Freddy's 4 and if this video has helped you make a decision on going to Steam and buying it, or I'll have a link below where you can go and purchase this game as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Zaxxer99. Take care.